This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're slinging out yet another iPhone app review today, this time a video review, of course, because you're watching this on YouTube, or at least we hope you are, because that's the only way we distribute these things. But uh, the app in question that we're looking at today is called 3D Solar System, and it's a bit of an, uh, of an oddball, so to speak, in the sense of it requires a few extra things that we don't usually uh, have in these kind of reviews. So with that in mind, I'm going to go, go ahead and just kind of give you an overview of what you need to actually run this application and to fully enjoy it before diving into a little bit of uh, further explanation of how it works, how much it costs, and of course our final star rating. This is a 3D enabled app and to uh, fully enjoy it you're going to need one of these which is a Hasbro My 3D Viewer. We bought this one for about 20 bucks at Target and uh, you can find them at there or a couple other places too. So it's a relatively inexp inexpensive piece of hardware. Once you have it, it's very easy to use. There's all kinds of instructions that come with it to help you out. You find the case that's appropriate to your iDevice. You slide it in, as I'm going to do now, and you're ready to rock. That's what you're going to need to uh, fully enjoy 3D Solar System. And uh, we really highly recommend that you go ahead and get this because it's an absolutely fantastic app. And, of course, there are all kinds of other 3D apps to use. But uh, 3D Solar System in particular is quite nice. We really enjoyed it, which we'll talk about more in just a second. But I just want to go ahead and give you guys a quick hardware overview before we jump into this. And that's it. So we're going to go ahead and go to the dark room now. And now here we are in a setting that might look a little more familiar to you guys. This is, of course, the dark room that we're used to. And this is the app in question. This is 3D Solar System on my springboard ready to go. It's worth noting right off the bat that we're not going to be able to show you the full 3D experience of this application, which is a darn shame because we absolutely loved it. There's simply no way to hook a camera up to the 3D viewer itself and then give you a, a tour of the application as it's actually viewed. Uh, but we can tell you about it, which is kind of our job, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to slap this thing and get straight into it. This is put out by Reason Interactive, and it's made specifically for the My3D Viewer, which is yet another incentive to go get it. This application is $3.99 in the App Store, which is a pretty great value to us, especially if you already have the My3D Viewer. The way this works is you simply hit Begin, and then the application splits into this kind of dual mode. Uh, and once it's actually fitted into the device, these are actually integrated together and then form a cohesive unit that's actually in full three dimensions. Uh, which is pretty cool, but uh, not so cool here on the screen. But like I said, it's it's a shame that we can't give you the full experience, but uh, we'll do our best. So what this app does is gives you essentially the option to float about or soar through the solar system as you would, say, if you were in a spaceship that just showed you there. So you can see I'm rotating the iPhone here to get a the, uh, the look about the solar system. I'm looking at the sun right now. And then likewise, I can hit the thrust button if I can. Obviously, these buttons are kind of skewed because they look different in the viewer itself but you can look around and then see planets and such and then zoom up to them and then get uh, extra information about them by simply holding the stop button and then uh, you know that little pop-up pops up with all kinds of different information likewise you can hit thrust or hold it down to find all kinds of available objects there's a star off in the distance that you can see there and you can zoom to any of these uh, so with this tilting mecha mechanic combined with the, uh, the My3D viewer which does pop this out into 3D we have to admit it's a pretty engaging experience and by pretty engaging we mean it's deadly awesome that is, it's a, it's a really unique thing to actually hook up your iPhone to a piece of hardware like the My3D Viewer, turn it around like you're looking through a pair of binoculars, and then see the universe. Likewise, it's even cooler that you can use the thrust and stop commands to zoom up and stop and check out things, fall into an orbit around a planet, and just simply enjoy the experience. It's a really blissful uh, blissful thing to do, and uh, considering the $3.99 price, we can't be happier with it. Uh, so with that in mind, that's pretty much all we have to say about it. We really, really enjoyed this app. It could just be because we're kind of geeks for this sort of thing. Uh, but it's also just a unique uh, exploration of what the iPhone is possible. Of what's possible on the iPhone, excuse me. We're really impressed with what this had to offer, and we think it's a new frontier for the iPhone. We hope a lot more of these applications come out. But in the meantime, 3D Solar System is a rock-solid offering at a bargain price that offers a truly unique and engaging experience on the iPhone. We strongly suggest you guys check this out, even though you do have to buy the extra hardware piece. With that in mind, we're going to give 3D Solar System a full 5 out of 5 on our uh, star rating system. We think it's that good. And so, of course, we're also going to give it a recommendation. And that's all we really have to say about it. 3D Solar System is again available for $3.99 in the App Store, though you will have to purchase the Hasbro My 3D Viewer. 
So that's it for us. I'm Luke Patrick reviewing for the iPhoneAppReview.com, and I just want to thank you guys for tuning in as usual. Go ahead and check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. There's all kinds of ones out there, and we're always pumping new content there and at the iPhoneAppReview.com. That's where we host our written reviews, so go check those out as well. In the meantime, I'll be signing out, so we'll check you guys later. Bye.